How's everyone doing? I'm back here again for our video and in this video I'm showing off another package that I just received from eBay and I'm very excited because these are two very cool releases of Halloween and these are the Halloween German Blu-ray and DVD media books and yeah like I said very happy to own these. These are both very awesome releases. Um, in my last video where I was showing off the Korean DVD release of Halloween, I was talking about how I want to start collecting different releases of Halloween because there's so many different releases of this film, and um, you know I just want to start collecting different releases that I've never, and I, I never thought I'd be able to get, um, you know, or I never, I just never tried getting, and, and I I want to start getting these in. So a, a week or so ago, I was on eBay just looking to see if there was any cool Halloween releases. And I typed in Halloween German Blu-ray, and uh, this release came up. This is the three-disc release that comes with the Blu-ray, DVD, and the soundtrack CD. Uh, it was brand new for $40, and I thought, well, you know, that's an okay price, but, you know, for $40, I, I didn't know if I wanted to spend that. But then I saw somebody selling both of these, uh, not brand new, but uh, used, but still in pretty great uh, condition. Uh, someone who was selling both of these for $40. And so I thought... You know what? Why, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You know, because I was I would be able to get both of them for the same price. I would get a brand new copy. Um, you know, so it was like getting these for twenty dollars each, which I thought was uh, pretty good. Um, now I have seen people show off this edition. Um, I know it was released in a wooden box set that came with a full size poster, um, some lobby cards, and a Michael Myers. Uh, beer bottle opener which you know was pretty cool it was an orange beer bottle that a beer bottle opener that just had a picture of Michael holding his knife and it said Halloween on it you know I mean I'm not a beer bottle I'm not a beer drinker excuse me but it still would have been a cool little item to own so I have seen people show off this three disc release however I've never seen anyone show off this two disc release that just comes with the blu-ray and the DVD and so when I saw that I thought oh that's cool I've never seen that release before so I decided to pick them both up. Um, now, as far as uh, the books inside, they're they're both the same, but there's differences between the uh, like as you can see, there's differences between the uh, artwork on the front and the back, as well as on the uh, actual uh, disc trays as well. There's a uh, different artwork. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show off the um, you know the front and the back and the. Uh, the inlay of the discs because like I said they're different however the books are the same so I'm only going to show off uh, one of these I'm going to open it up and go through each of the pages um, so first I want to talk a bit about uh, the actual covers now first I'll talk about this one right here um, now this one has kind of a, a, a blue you know dark black right here um, you know it has the of course the classic image of the pumpkin and the knife you know there's some fading over it you know, on the top and the bottom. Um, it looks cool. I like it. Um, down right here is, the, I guess, the logo of the company who released it because it's actually on both um, media books. One thing I like about it is that it's kind of in a... Uh, I can't really describe it, but it's kind of in a... kind of a soft, squishy texture. It kind of reminds me of... Um, uh, it kind of reminds me of, like... Uh, not leather, but it kind of reminds me of just, it's just kind of a soft, squishy texture, which I really like it. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see it, like, you guys can see I'm kind of squishing it down. Um, I just really like uh, the, the texture that they use for the cover. It's nice and soft, kind of. Um, it doesn't feel, like, flimsy or anything. I just, I just really like it. It's nice and, like I said, nice and, uh, and soft. And then right up here on the side, there's, again, the logo of the uh, company that released it. And right here is a John Carpenter's Halloween. And it has, of course, Halloween written in German and in the Blu-ray. And then on the back, I kind of like how the color scheme is the same on the back. Like, as you can see, it's kind of blue and it's kind of grainy like the front. Um, there's a great shot of Lori right here when she about to break through the, um, the back window to get away from Michael uh, with the, um, you know, with with that right there um, it's just a great image and then there are three classic images from the film you know like one of you know Annie laying, laying in the bed shot of Dr. Loomis and a shot of Lori with the the knife and then you know it just has a description of the movie written of course in German and then here are just different information you know it says uh, 
three disc limited edition uh, MIT Blu-ray disc DVD on soundtrack and then there's just more information about the film you know again um, you know all written in in German but you know right here it says like widescreen 16.9 you know, the Blu-ray disc is 91 minutes and the DVD is 87 minutes. I'm not really sure um, why those are different. Um, and then, you know, bonus material. It's got a commentary. And then, believe it as a documentary. I'm not really sure. TV spots. I'm not really sure about the, the um, bonus features on this release. Okay, so there's that first one. Now, even though I really do like the uh, the blue, you know, the dark blue and the gray with the, uh, the pumpkin image, I actually really like this uh, image, and I actually think I like it a bit better. I like the classic black image right here of, you know, just the, the classic pumpkin with the knife. You know, I know it's kind of a basic, like every single release of Halloween usually has this image, but I just like it. I like that it's kind of plain, and it's just a classic image, and right here it says, you know, John Carpenter's Halloween. And it says the night he came home, two disc limited edition. And then there's the spine. Uh, this one's kind of different. It actually has a small little image of the pumpkin, and it says Halloween right there. And the back is almost the same. Um, again, just like the uh, other one, um, you know, the the same color from the front comes over. So it's got the black. And it's got Lori there coming in front of the window. You know, with the uh, with the rake right there, it says Halloween. It's got the same images right here, and this says Concord Home Entertainment, and then it says two disc limited edition with Blu-ray and DVD, and then the rest of this is kind of the same. It does say right over here cover A, so I'm assuming that these were released uh, with different with different covers, which is a uh, pretty cool. All right. So now I showed off the uh, two covers. Now I'm going to show off the actual uh, inlays or you know the uh, the images behind the discs because they're actually different. Right here we have the Blu-ray, which I have heard that this Blu-ray is um, it is region free, so I do think I can watch it. But you know it, I, I don't think I will ever watch these because I mostly got these just for collecting purposes, like just for the packaging. I didn't really you know buy them to watch them because I already own so many different releases of Halloween. I don't really need to watch these, but right here we have the Blu-ray. And you take it out, and it has this great shot of Lori right here, um, right when she's laying on the couch about to stab Michael with the, uh, with the needle. You know, the sewing needle. So that's very, very cool. Now here is where it kind of goes downhill a little bit. I'm not a... This is how... Uh, the Blu-ray and I mean this is how the DVD and the soundtrack CD is packaged as you can see there's nothing to sort of hold them you know it doesn't have the uh, you know little plastic button that you press down instead you kind of just have to uh, push it down so that it's pushing down into this lip right here and it's pushing these small little pieces of plastic down which I'm not a big fan of um, because they can easily come unhinged like actually when I got this this disc was actually unhinged, um, unfortunately, so... But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take these out um, and show the uh, image on the image underneath the disc, so just bear with me because you kind of have to push it down a little bit and then push it up. Because like I said, it's underneath the plastic here and I really don't want to... I really don't want to damage it, so I'm going to try my best to, uh, to get it. Let me push it down, there we go. Got the DVD out, and right here is the soundtrack CD, which I'm really glad that this came with it because I've been wanting to own the soundtrack on CD, and even the CD of the soundtrack is kind of expensive online, so I am glad that this came with it. Of course, I don't really need it on CD because I can just listen to it online. Like, right now, I'm listening to the soundtrack uh, in this video in the background, so I, I don't need to own it on CD, but I like owning it. I like having a physical copy of it. But underneath the disc right here, we have this great image of Dr. Loomis, which is very, very cool. Okay, so there's those. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the Blu-ray and the DVD out of these. So right, I mean, out of this release. So right here we have a... Uh, take the Blu-ray out. And you got this great shot of Michael 
in his uh, you know, ghost outfit right there. Or with the sheet with you know Bob's glasses. And then on this one, the DVD, and you can just take it out because it has the uh, you know little plastic. And then it has this great shot of Michael choking Linda out. So yeah, very very cool. I mean I like it how that you know they they changed them up. Like even though the books are the same, I like it how that they have different images underneath the discs. All right. Well now that I've uh, shown this off, now I'm going to go ahead and um, open up. This one, and actually show you guys the actual media book. Let's open it up. First, we have this great image right here of when Michael's peering in at Annie in the laundry room right here. And it says Halloween, and then it says, you know, what Halloween is written in German. It's the first page, and like I said, everything is written in German. Um, there's a, once again, a great shot of Michael in, you know, the into the sheet with Bob's glasses and then of course the classic image of him looking over you know the banister a lot of these images are the same images that you've seen you know that like you know the one of him looking in at the um looking him into the closet then the shot of him watching Annie again And this is kind of cool, it just has all the films listed, and their directors, and the dates in which they were released, and you can see how they're all, how they're written, and you know, like, this is how it says, The Return of Michael Myers, how it's written in German. So that's kind of cool. And there's just a couple more random shots, you know, got the three girls right there. And got Annie laying on the bed. And Lori, right before she looks out the window, and sees Michael near the clotheslines. Then we got this one image of Michael right here holding the knife. And then this is just one kind of random lobby card. They kind of just put a couple of random images um, at the end, which is, you know, it's cool, but it, you know, there's that great shot of, again, Michael choking Annie out. Or, yeah, or Linda out, excuse me, Linda. And in the back, there's this shot of the knife right here in the last page. And you got Lori right here with the blood. And then once again, the image of Dr. Loomis. Alright. So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Um, these are the two Halloween German Blu-ray media books or digibooks, whatever you want to call them. Um, I know in German, Germany, they call them media books, so that's what I'm going to call them. I actually think I like that. Uh, name better. I think I like saying media book over digi book. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about these releases because I really think that they're very, very cool. And like I said, I'm really happy to own these. Um, you know, ever since I saw people show off this, you know, the three disc release, I've been wanting it. Um, you know, I love the texture. Once again, you know, I can't really describe it. It's just a nice, um, it's, it's like a, uh, you know, squeezy like just kind of texture to it i can't really describe uh how it is it's kind of like a soft texture to the the front um but like i said i've seen people show this off you know like i said i've seen it shown off separately and i know it was released in a wooden box set um but i've never seen anyone show off this release right here the two disc release um so i'm glad to own both and you know i like different things about each one you know i, I really like the books i like the images that they chose to put underneath the discs um, I really like this, you know, shot right here of the classic pumpkin and a knife with the uh, the background and everything. But there's just something about this classic image of just a classic, you know, pumpkin and knife with the black um, that I just absolutely love. So, anyway guys, let me know what you guys think about these releases. Let me know if you own these releases. Um, as always, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, my links will be down below. If you guys want to join my movie collecting Facebook group, I'll also leave a link down below to that. And also, guys, I'm actually going to be doing a video showing off my entire Halloween collection coming up. You know, since uh, the new Halloween movie is coming out, I've just been in a Halloween mood. And I've just been wanting to, you know, watch the movies and collect, uh, you know, collect different releases. And so, I think it's a good time to do a, uh, a new overview of my entire Halloween and Michael Myers collection. Plus, it's less than six months before Halloween, so I think it's a great time. So in my next video, I will be showing off my entire Halloween and Michael Myers collection. 
Anyway, guys, thanks everybody for watching, and have a good one.